respect people. Hi folks, hope everybody having a great day out there. I'm definitely having a great day. Just knocking out these inspections. As you can see about halfway through, I'm at number 20. Got 20 more to go. So we're just working our way down at the end right there. Knocking them out. Just catching up with you. All right, have a blessed day. Just go up here and grab it. I'm gonna clean this lens up. Hope that's better, but you can always get the model number from uh, the, the tag up here. Got a name plate on the president unit. Tend to fade away. So I'm just gonna get the model number. All right, we got a T S and Sam C zero thirty six. That's a three ton Alpha yeah, LS and Larry. Age of unit at ten plus. So I'm just entering all this information in my Jobber app. Want more information on Jobber, click on the link in the description below. It's a three ton unit. Filter condition is poor. Belt condition, we got a direct drive. Core condition is fair. And then the rest of it is overall condition. Like I said, I'm going to jump it out and see what it looks like. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and get my filter sizes. Twenty by twenty-five by two, and there's two of those up in there. So I think the next two tenants are vacant. So before I get too far into these now, I'm gonna check my power first. See if we got power at the unit. If not, I can uh. You know, just get the model serial number and stuff like that and move on because I ain't no need hooking up no gauges. Like I say, since they uh, not being occupied, they just may have the power off downstairs to serve in. So even if I was to jump this out, it won't even turn on. Let's see, but I still get the uh, information off the unit. So this is number 22. Train. 
Connect is 310. All right, folks, but I'm just moving right along. Oh, so this still the one that don't have no power, so I'll just get in the filter sizes, man. Look, look at that. I'm proud of the original filters in the unit. Got a bad odor to it. So sometimes you run up on stuff like this. So that we can definitely make some money off this one, folks. That's for sure right on right there. I'm trying to knock out some of these units. I got about halfway done. I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. About about 11.35. Got 15 more to go on this roof. I'll be checking on my unit that I did the repairs on it. Looks like we cooled them pretty good. So everything worked out well for this unit right here. And I also think uh, it sound a lot better too. condition ain't the best but uh good good air i say the air pressure not too high because we're going good warm air after the condenser part not too hot you get a temperature differential right here real quick also I'm happy with that. 